This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by NitrosMe.com. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from DopeMotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a distorted text animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. So with that said, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. All right, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start with creating a new composition, which is going to be our main render comp. Let's keep it 1920 into 1080, 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Hit OK. Then create another composition. This is going to be our logo placeholder. You can also use a text if you want to. I'm going to call this logo. And then select the text tool and type in whatever text that you want. I'm going to type in radioactive for the font. I'm using champion Gothic. And this is a very nice font for this uh, particular text. Then go into fix and preset and search for gradient ramp. Let's double click to apply that just to add some nice color to our text. So for this one, I'm going to go with a nice lighter blue color. And for this one, I'm going to go with a darker one. So here we have a very nice text. Probably I'll increase the brightness of this. So yeah, that is looking good. Now, in order to drive the animation, we need to create a bunch of maps. So to do that, I'm going to create a new composition. Let's call this map. Hit OK. Hit Control Y to create a new solid. Call this fractals then go into effects and preset and search for fractal noise double click to apply that let's set the noise type to block and increase the contrast maybe somewhere around there should be good go into the transform option and unlink the uniform scaling set the scale width to around let's go with 50 should be good and increase the scale height all the way up to 1000 then bring down the complexity to around two or three should be fine so yeah that is looking good and now we can animate the offset turbulence so keep your time indicator at the very start and create a keyframe on the offset turbulence go at 10 seconds and let's set this to um let's set this to minus 6000 all right, so we have something which looks like this. Then we will also animate our evolution. So to animate this, I will be using a very simple expression. So to add the expression, I'm going to hold Alt and click on the stopwatch of the evolution and type in the expression time into 500. So now we have a continuous evolution, which looks pretty nice. Now, before we proceed further with this tutorial, I just want to take a minute and talk about our today's sponsor, Nitro's Me. They have made this pack called Text Library Pro, which comes with over 1500 handy text presets. And this pack comes equipped with animation effects and transitions for text layers, which will save you a lot of time and help you professionally edit your videos in a matter of minutes. This pack contains ready to use effects with nine different categories like simple, glitch, displacement, blocks, slices, VHS, grunge, etc. You can easily apply this effects to your text layers in just one click and even adjust the timing using the markers. So make sure to check out Text Library Pro from Nitrosme by clicking on the first link in the description below. Then hit Ctrl Y to create another solid layer called this wipe. Hit OK, then go into effects and preset and search for a linear wipe effect. Create a keyframe on the transition completion. Go to 5 seconds and set this all the way up to 100 and then increase the feather to around 50 or 60 should be good. So now we have something like this. Now let's duplicate this, hit Ctrl D and let's move this around 10 frames forward in time set the wipe angle to minus 90 and then hit U so we can see the keyframes select both the keyframes right click keyframe assistant and time reverse keyframe so now we have something like this like a strip 
of a fractal noise and this is what I am looking for. So our base map is ready. Now let's create a revealing map for our text. So let's duplicate this hit control D to duplicate it Call this R underscore map that is a revealing map. You can of course call it whatever that you want. Also for the map that we just created, I'm going to call this map underscore zero one. So let's go into the R map that is our revealing map, select the wipe layer, go into layer, solid settings and make this white. And that's all we have to do. So this is going to be a revealing track mat. Now let's go into our render composition and now we can start building up our scene. So first of all, hit control Y to create a new solid called this BG for background. I'm going to make this completely black hit. Okay. Then let's drag the logo composition on top of that layer and drag the map one below the background. We can hide that if you, if we want to select the logo composition layer, go into effects and presets and search for set matte effect double click to apply that in the take mat from layer. I'm going to set this to map one that we just added and then set the use for mat to luminance. So now if I drag this forward, you can see we get this really cool track mat effect. And then we can go ahead into effects and preset and search for a displacement map. Double click to apply that and set the displacement map layer to map one as well. Increase the vertical displacement to around, let's go with hundred. Then duplicate this, hit control D, hit control D one more time and set this to minus 100. Then duplicate this one more time. So now we have four displacement maps. So now you can see it looks pretty intense. Then make sure to hit four to bring up the blending mode option and change the blending mode of this layer to add. Now to increase the intensity of this, I'm going to add an exposure effect. Double click to apply that set this to around two. So that is looking pretty nice. And then go into effects and preset and search for tint. So we can add our color that whichever color that we want. I'm going to keep it something like a neonish blue color for now. So there we go. Looking pretty good. Probably I should bring down the expo exposure below the tint. Yeah. So that is looking pretty cool. Now we can add some glows on this. So search for glow and double click to apply that. I'm going to bring down the glow threshold to around 40% and um, set the glow intensity to 0.2 and then duplicate this hit control D. And now before we tweak this glow, one thing that is very important is that we will be working in 32 bits BPC that is bits per channel. So I'm going to hold alt and click two times. So now it's working in 32 BPC. Whenever you are working with glows, always prefer working in 32 because this is going to give you some very nice glows. Now we can increase this to around 200. And now you can see we get a very intense glow and that is what I am looking for. You can bring down the exposure if you think it's way too much so i can bring down bring this down to one but i think 1.5 should be a sweet spot yeah so as you can see this is looking very very nice pretty cool now let's duplicate this layer hit control d to duplicate the glow and now i'm going to create three copies of this map so now hit control d so now we have map one two and three now let's drag and drop the map two below and go to around 10 frames, drag that to 10 frame, select the logo composition that we just duplicated. So that is the second one. And then we can switch this to map two for all the uh, effects, including the set mat and the displacement map. So let's set this to map two, this one to map two. And then go right here. And now let's change the color to something interesting. So I'm going to go with a really nice blue color, I think here. And for the first one, actually, I'm going to go with a nice purple one. Or something like this looks good. For this one, I think we can go with a lighter tone. Yeah, something like that. You can see it looks 
pretty damn cool let's do this one more time so duplicate this first of all let's change the color so i'm gonna make this something like a nice darkish blue color and then drag the map 3 pull this below by 20 frames like that then change this to map 3 So now if I preview this, you can see we get three different glitches. If you want, you can change the color as per your preference. So I can just make this a bit more different. So yeah, that is looking pretty nice, I think. And finally, I will duplicate this one more time. Hit Control D. Let's change the color of this layer to something different because this is our main composition. Change the blending mode to normal of this. And um, I'm going to drag the revealing map composition and let's play this around maybe one second should be good and then switch everything to revealing map that is our map so now if i preview this we get this very nice reveal i think now obviously i don't want the tint effect on this nor i want the exposure nor i want the glow maybe i'll use the, this this glow and keep it very very subtle like that so now we have this very nice reveal i think it looks pretty awesome okay so that is looking very cool now one trick here is you can play around with the map that we created so let's say if i go right here if i go into the fractals and uh, maybe if i increase this make this more boxy you can see if i solo this one up i think this is the map one layer you can see we get a different kind of uh, glitch which is pretty cool as well so basically you can play around with this technique and create a very unique looking glitch and yeah create a different effect basically now to add a really nice movement to this, I'm going to make all the layers, I'm going to turn all the layers into 3D. So hit F4 and make them 3D. Then let's create a new camera. 50 millimeter preset should be good. Hit OK. Let's right click and create a new null object. And I'm going to call this cam control. Turn this into a 3D layer and pad in the camera to this cam control and hit R to bring down the rotation properties. So I'll go right over here, maybe. Yeah, set the Y rotation to 90 degrees and then go at around six seconds and set this to zero. Then select the keyframes. You can hit F9 or right click keyframe assistant easy ease them. Go into graph editor, right click and select edit speed graph. Select this point and drag this to the left like that. So now if I preview this, we have a really nice movement to our text. Pretty awesome. I can also add a small scale animation. So let's go right here and let's go to around seven seconds and scale this out like that to around like one, one, ten. You know, we have a continuous movement, which looks pretty good. And to get rid of any kind of color bendings that you may get, you can uh, create a new adjustment layer. Call this noise. Go into effects and preset and uh, add the noise effect. Uncheck both of these properties and set this to around four should be good. So that, you know, you, oh, you can avoid any kind of color bendings. Also, I think we can increase the intensity of the exposure a little bit so let's set this to around two that should be really nice and maybe make this lighter version of this and there you have created your very cool digital glitch text animation whatever that you want to call it basically also one more thing that you can do is add a small uh, glitch in in between this animation so to do that i can right click and create a new adjustment layer called this mini glitch or something like that and i'm gonna keep it very subtle like for a few frames maybe so something like that and then on this 
adjustment layer i'm going to add an effect called fine edges let's set this to invert and make sure to put this below the camera and below all the noise and all effect and then hit f4 and let's change this to maybe something like a screen or something go into effects and preset add a transform effect and increase this a little bit so now you know we can get this kind of a glitch for a few frames which looks pretty abstract and pretty awesome i think we can even move this i think if you want to just to get a random effect i think so basically you can play around with this uh, complete effect and uh, come up with some really once you understand the technique you can you know play around with this come up with your own different technique and fractal maps and make it look as cool as possible so as you saw creating this animation is very simple all you have to do is create a bunch of uh, track mats to reveal the animation using fractal noise and displacement map and it's very easy so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new here and press that bell icon to get notified whenever i post a new video if you're feeling generous please do support us on patreon as well by just contributing one dollar and you can follow me on instagram at dope.motions so with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out